I'm going to tell you today about why a woman should never plan a man's birthday. I love this topic. There's just something about it that is just so fun. It it, there, it just brings up so much controversy. Uh, so many people get their panties all stuck in a bunch about it. And... Uh, <laughs> It's just interesting. It's just interesting to see how people get so reactive over this topic. And there is such a very polarizing, polarizing divide between people's opinions. And um, my opinion is definitely very far on one side of the divide. So why should a woman never plan a man's birthday? Right? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm being pretty extreme here in this statement. Well, it depends what you want. Right. Do you want the most polarized relationship that you can have? Do you want a man who is inspired as possible to want to take care of you? Do you want a relationship where you can just really relax and let go in every kind of way? Do you want to be fully 100% in your feminine self-worth and realize just how worthy you are? Well, if you answered yes to one or all of those questions, um, there's definitely a reason to stop any kind of planning of a man's birthday. Here's something, and by the way, I, I get into this in my latest book, Inspire His Devotion, but one of the things I, I talk about in the book is how, so a man's instinct, right, a man's instinct is to lead, to be the leader, to be received as the leader. And what makes this so confusing, right? I say that, and for a lot of women, they'll be like, oh yeah, you know, that sounds great. I'd love to be led. I'd love to be taken care of, right? Assuming that a woman's instincts are online enough to, to realize that they want that. But the problem is what's really so confusing for so many women as well as so many men is that there is such a range in our society of men whose instincts, some men whose instincts are fully online, some instincts are somewhat suppressed, some are very suppressed, some are totally offline. And so you get a really wide uh, spectrum of opinions when it comes to something like this, right? And this topic just really brings out those spectrum, that, that spectrum, right? Some men are like, oh, yeah, I'd love it if a woman takes care of me and, and showers me in gifts and plans everything. And then you got men on the other side who are like, no, that'd be kind of irritating. I wouldn't really like that, right? And then you got kind of men in between. So. Here's something interesting from my life. When my instincts were more suppressed as a man, I was much more of that kind of Peter Pan roommate type of guy, very fun loving. My instinct to fully take care of my woman, to lead my woman, to protect my woman, to provide for my woman, to be the one that is the leader and the man in the relationship fully, it wasn't online. Okay. And so her planning stuff, it didn't bother me at all. It didn't bother me at all. And if it was stuff that made my life easier or, you know, was a lot of fun or whatever, I'd be like, sweet. Someone planned all this stuff for me or for us and I didn't have to do it. Great. That's a bunch of stuff off my plate, right? So talking to the old Zach Rohde from five years ago or 10 years ago, would be like, yeah, that'd be cool. A woman does a bunch of stuff for my birthday. And uh, yeah, I feel really uh, special and all of that stuff. Because that's the other part of this, right? When a man's instincts aren't fully online and he's got woundings, the idea of being celebrated, of being seen, of being given to all that stuff is like, it, it kind of validates that wounding. It'll actually feel good for him. When a man's instincts are fully online, he doesn't give a crap about being celebrated. He really doesn't. He doesn't need that kind of acknowledgement and we'll call it cherishing. <laughs> he doesn't need that cherishing and he doesn't want that cherishing. It doesn't feel good for him in any kind of way. Right. So where I am right now in my marriage is I would never want my wife to plan me a birthday. Uh, you know, if I'm just like, hey, you know, make me like make this dinner, make this birthday cake, whatever. Sure, that that's totally different. But I'm talking about a woman like really doing all this planning stuff. 
I don't want to follow her plan of like when she scheduled this restaurant or when she scheduled this event or opening the presents or any of that stuff. A masculine man doesn't want to follow a woman's plans. He doesn't want to submit to that. It doesn't feel good in any kind of way. It doesn't give him anything. Understand it doesn't, you know, yeah, he gets the present or he gets the whatever, but he doesn't need that cherishing from his woman. Okay. What he needs, what a masculine man needs, and really any man, whether his instincts are online or not, it's just that he's not in touch with this need. What any masculine man, sorry, what any man needs is to be received. It is to have a woman or others to take care of. He needs somebody to take care of. He needs his gifts, his provision, his leadership, his time, his energy, his love, his plans, his initiation, his compliments, etc. and so forth to be received. That's all I care about. Right? That, that's all I care about. I just want to cherish my wife. I just want to fill her up with joy and gratitude by doing stuff for her. Now, of course, I want her submission as well. I want her respect, right? That's part of this. But in, in this context, what I'm talking about, I just want her to be happy. I just want her to receive all of my gifts, all of my care for her. And her doing those kind of things for me, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't do a damn thing. And women need to understand this because <laughs> typically, right? Women have wounds that will very much complement a man's wounds. Now, maybe you got lucky and you're with a really masculine man already, and he's already saying, I don't want any of that crap. Like, I'll, I'm, I'm going to plan it, or I just I don't want to be celebrated or whatever. Great. But a lot of men are not there, right? A lot of men are like, I want a birthday party. I want a woman to share, share me and gifts, all that stuff. That wound complements so many women's core wound, which looks something like this. I don't fully believe that I am worthy to be cherished and taken care of and spoiled and, uh, and, and just yeah, given, given love to and, and have all of these plans. So I need to make up for my self-worth deficiency, my self-perceived self-worth uh, deficiency by doing stuff by stepping into the giving role, into the masculine role, and doing stuff for my man. That is what gives me value. That is what gives me worth. That is what keeps my anxiety about being abandoned at bay because then uh, then I'll be, I'll be good enough in this relationship and he won't have to abandon me. And that's how most men, should I say most men and women, well, a lot of men and women, whether it's manifesting through birthdays or something else, right, are operating in their relationships. They're operating in this very wounded state that we call in our society normal. This is just what men and women are supposed to be doing. But it's not normal. Well, it's normal in the fact that a lot of men and women are doing it. It's not healthy. But here's where it gets more interesting. We're going to go really deep for this one before I finish this up. What's really interesting about this, and, and this is why, like this is one of the reasons why I get so much flack. I get so much uh, pushback on, on stuff, especially like this one, this video. Because for the man, he feels good by getting that birthday stuff, right? For, for the wounded man, right? The, the man whose instincts aren't really online. He feels good. It's like, oh, I, uh, huh, my woman cares about me. Yay, I feel so happy. And the woman also feels good, at least to a degree, right? Oh, I get to do all these great things for my man, and uh, I made him so happy. Yay, right? So both man and woman feel good, and then, and then they're like, well, if it feels good, then shouldn't it be okay? Isn't it okay to, to do this? Well, look, there's lots of stuff that we could be doing in our wounded state that feels good. I'll let your imagination uh, carry you away there to think of some of those things that feel that might feel good in your wounded state. 
but are not healthy. And as long as you continue to stay in those behaviors, even when they're behaviors that feel good, you're staying stuck in that wounded pattern. You're enabling it in yourself so that you don't heal. You're not moving through through the actual fear and discomfort and insecurities. And you're also enabling that in your man so that he doesn't fully step up either. So the question that a woman has to ask herself around something like, because come on, we'll, we'll be honest here. It's a, it's a birthday. It's a fucking birthday. Does it really matter that much if I do something just once a year? No, in the greater scheme of things, it doesn't matter that much. Okay. But it's not about the birthday. It's about what this it's about a manifestation of this deeper wound and this is just one manifestation and there's so many more manifestations of it okay that it will be showing up if you're doing it here you're going to be doing it there you're going to be doing it there you're going to be doing it everywhere you're going to be doing it with a fox you're going to be doing it in a box you're going to be doing it whether you like green eggs and ham or not right and i don't want you to continue to be stuck in those wounds any longer if you want a relationship where you are being truly cherished, you're being taken care of by a man, you're being loved, you're being led, you're having space held for all your feelings, you're able to just fully let go and open up and receive care from a man. If you want this, then you got to take even stuff like this birthday thing seriously. You got to really use it as a way to look at yourself and look at your patterns and look at your wounds and look at the wounds of your partner or past partners. And here's the best news. You can do something about it. You can change all of this. You just need the right information, first of all. Well, first of all, you need to be receptive. <laughs> you need to be receptive. Second, you need the right information. And third, you got to implement the right information, which may often require a lot of support, uh, professional expert support, but we'll uh, get to that bridge when we get to it. For now, let's just talk about the information. I go so much deeper into this in my book, Inspire His Devotion. If this is kind of speaking to you in this video, where it's like, oh my God, yeah, there's some, there's some stuff here. There's some truths here that uh, maybe I wasn't really paying attention to or didn't understand or whatever. Scrap the book. It's not very expensive. You can read through it in a day and you will have your mind blown with realizations about why this polarity stuff works, why it's instinctual why it's the answer to you shifting everything in your love life, everything that's been holding you back. So you get that on Amazon and you can find my books. You know, you can go to Amazon, you can type in my name. You can also just go to relationshipyourdreams.com. Uh, link is right below my face. Just put that in. And there's a My Books tab. And go there and, and start with Inspire is Devotion. It's a fantastic book. You're going to love it. Uh, how are we going to wrap up here? Boom, we operate from this wounded state that in society we call normal. Absolutely. This just stabbed me in my heart because it's so enlightening to my own experience and wounds. I hope it was a, a, felt like a loving, a loving stab. <laughs> Try not to be too harsh about it. Uh, thank you for hitting it once more. Yeah, you're welcome. Grab the book, guys, guys and gals. And uh, start changing your life. Start understanding this polarity stuff. Uh, you can have this dream relationship, this polarized reality. But you got to start making steps, steps forward. And uh, read the book and, and just see how it opens your eyes. That's it for this one.